What's going on, everybody? Fire Chicken here at the Scrapyard, and you got about 15 minutes with me. Um, as uh, Just to let you know, it might be more. It's usually more. I'll try to be as brief as I can, but I do go off on tangents, so bear with me. All right, look. So this is me giving you guys the news of the Scrapyard. Um, real quick, I want to shout out Buddy V with Zuel. I'm wearing his merch. I got his hat. It's like right here. Um, I've done a little bit of moving around with stuff here. Most of you guys probably don't even notice, but I do. We got um, Love the Beat Radio. We got them right here. Um, that's the Mr. Fitness calendar right here. We got my BFF solo right here. We got the BKFC fights that I went to down in, uh, down in, um, uh, I'm trying to think where that was, uh, Florida, but, uh, Fort Lauderdale. Thanks. Uh, thanks Derek Gates for that. Um, yeah, just a couple things here. Team, Team Benavides right here. So just adding a little bit of stuff. Anyway, let me get into it. So first up, we got fights coming up September 21st. Um, this might be kind of the last summer fights. Actually, it is the last summer fights. So weather hopefully cooperates. Um, last month, August, usually that's a good month. It didn't cooperate very well, but, um, I'm hopeful. I'm thinking maybe September is going to be good. Uh, I'm trying to put together some featured fights ahead of time. So I'm asking that people sign up now so that we're not trying to scramble on fight day to come up with all the fights. Um, I want to give a shout out to love to beat radio. So they're over in london england they do um a magazine and, and a radio station so they do talk about us on the radio but their magazine features our fighters from the scrapyard in it and every three months they put three new fighters in their magazine so like fighter of the month for like january february march um so like this this one right here i believe this was january february march they're sending me the April, May, June copy with um, the feature fighters in that one. And I had to find new fighters for July, August, and September. Um, so scrapyard fighters, if you are a consistent fighter at the scrapyard or made a big name for yourself or, or what have you, we'll be looking into possibly getting you a featured spot in the magazine. It, we also have in the magazine, um, Kind of like a, just a what's going on with the scrapyard. It's sort of like its own 15 minutes of fire chicken. It's got its own page and it, it just talks about um, what's new, what's what's coming up. Um, I, I want to give a, a goodbye and, uh, and say we're going to miss you guys, but it, we've had a few fighters have had to move to different states. We miss them. We wish them the best. Um, La Reina, Ronan, and Soul. So all moving for different reasons, uh, not because they don't like the scrapyard, but different opportunities. And uh, I, I hope you guys can make it back out to the scrapyard and visit every once in a while. Um, we got some fighters fighting in an amateur promotion this next weekend. So I want to shout out those guys. That's Chongo, Nasty Nate, John Eds 33 and Flex are all fighting on that card. So um, I'm, I hope I could make it out to those fights. I can never guarantee these things, but I would love to be there in person. Um, so if I can't make it, uh, I wish you guys the best of luck. If I can make it, maybe I can help corner or something. More videos still coming from, uh, from August. Yeah, I'm, I'm still editing diligently. We had 20-something uh, fights that month. Um, the previous month though, July, I mean, July, we really had a lot. We had like almost 40 fights. So with our anniversary, those, uh, I was not able to edit all of those before the, the August event. Um, but I still have quite a few to edit for, uh, from the August event though. So plenty of content. Got a Pappas fight coming out today, so look out for that. I think it's going to come out around 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 
Um, Pappas fought twice in August. He did a grappling match, which if you're on Instagram right now, you'll see I did release um, a reel I made of his grappling match. Uh, you can check that one out. And I also finished it on, I also finished it for YouTube, but I haven't released it on there yet. Uh, I mean, I, I released the whole fight on there. I just haven't released like the short. And one thing that you guys may not be aware of if you're not in the social media business is that you only have a minute to post shorts on, uh, on YouTube, but on Instagram, you have a minute and a half. Actually, I think you have longer. Um, and then Facebook, I think is right at is exactly a minute and 30. So, and then TikTok, which I don't even really, don't get me started on TikTok, but I mean, you could go all the way up to like 10 minutes on those things. So <laughs> I'm going to get those rolled out. If you want to see it now, you can go over to our Instagram. Uh, we just, we just hit the, the 1 million mark on Instagram. So whoop, whoop. Um, congratulations to the scrapyard. Good job fighters. Good job. Everybody sharing our content. I also have kind of a group chat in, uh, on Instagram that if you guys aren't aware of, you can go to Instagram, join it. It's free. Basically I post, post fights in there. And, uh, you, you know, if, if you're following us on YouTube, you probably already see them, but it, it's just another way to ensure that you don't miss any of our content. Um, here, I didn't write this down, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit and it's kicking it with chicken. So, um, I haven't had a kicking it with chicken. I mean, next episode is going to be episode 100 and I, I believe I'm going to do something different with episode 100. Um, I believe I'm going to do something different with episode 100. I think I'm going to have a couple guests as far as hosting. So, um, it might make for more content. Like it might be, it, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I think it's just going to be better to be honest. Uh, we're going to try to pin down some guests and, and have them come on. You know, we did it with scrap talk and I think now we're going to transition over to kicking it with chicken and, and do the, do the same high level, um, high level guests coming out and being on, kicking it with chicken as well as our fighters as well as our fighters. So the great thing about kicking it with chicken is I'm not going to be kind of pinned down to like doing this time. Always. It's going to be like, we can kind of just do it whenever. So, I mean, we're, we're up to our hundredth episode of kicking it with chicken. So we've definitely been doing that for a while. Um, I also want to bring up something too. We have a featured documentary coming up a big documentary huge documentary um i can't say when i can't say who it is i'm just gonna say this it's gonna be seen by a lot of people all over the world for many years and this company that's doing the documentary they have done a they've done quite a few documentaries already they actually have uh, documentaries on like Prime Video, Netflix, etc. So you can go on there and, and watch some of them. But we're not at that point where we can disclose who it is or or the time frame that they're going to be doing anything or, or any details. I'm just letting you guys know that I'm excited about it. It's a big it's a big thing for for the scrapyard and for street beefs as a whole because. Any promotion that any of the branches of Street Beefs get, all the branches of Street Beefs get that promotion. If a documentary is centered around the OG branch, that trickles down to all the other branches too. And people will go out and search for every branch of Street Beefs they can and follow, and it'll create more followers, more engagement. So um, this isn't about just us. This is about Street Beefs as a whole. But the documentary will be focused around the scrapyard. Um, it will touch base on the history of street beefs and the, the different locations and all that stuff. So um, I, I'm just, I, I can't say how excited I am enough times. It's just, I'm giddy about it. 
Um, I want to give a shout out to one of our fighters, Pinche Jr. He has created a scrapyard song for us. Um, you can check it out. I haven't done a full like a full video edit on it yet, as far as like all the um music i've made like a music video for it yet that i that i've really made dedicated to just that i did one with a bunch of clips in it and stuff but but typically when i do them i i put a little bit more into them and i will do that for this one but if you want to watch the video or hear the song you can look up um it was pufferfish versus makuda so look up that fight it's a recent fight it's pufferfish versus makuda and there's a little bit of it at the beginning, but then the full song is at the end. So if you see this, you're, you're listening to me talk, and you decide to go over there and watch this video, please let me know what you think of it in the comments section of that video. Um, I, I mean, if, you, if you're not a fan of rap, um, I mean, you don't really have to say anything. Um, Pinche Jr. is a, a Hispanic rapper. So there is some Spanish and some English in there. Um, but I love the fact that it, it's him that created it. It's him talking about the scrapyard. I mean, it just shows a lot of love. And we've had a few, we've had a few fighters and fans and, and that kind of stuff make tracks for the scrapyard. And I'll, I'll tell you, so Vincinati, you can look him up, Vincinati. Or if you're on Instagram and you create like a poster or reel, and you type in street beefs, Vincinati's will come up because that's like a licensed song. You can find that one on, um, you know, like Prime Prime Music and, and Apple and all that stuff. So Vincinati, I think it's just called Scrapyard. Then we had one by um, Chase Money, Eddie, and um, uh, because can't think of her name. I'm really bad. Um, I don't want to not give them the shout out. So I'm going to. I'm going to find this out. Let's see. Ah, oh, now I went full screen. I'm, I've screwed up my whole computer. Somebody call Geek Squad. Help me. Uh-oh. Oh yeah. Oh man. I'm actually like pretty computer inclined people. I just had a dumb moment there. And I I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Okay. Anyway, that's one of the other songs that uh, that we've had created for the scrapyard. Also, um, Ronan created a song, the um, "Long Live Jay Gotham" scrapyard anthem, and then Jay Gotham created a track for us. Um, that's that's going to be the Jay Gotham track is the main track, guys. That's that one's timeless. That that one. He puts so much effort into not saying that nobody else put effort into it, but I I'm just crediting, you know, how good of a job he did on that, on that, uh, on that song. I've used it various times and I believe using that track over and over again, keeps the memory of Jay Gotham alive, you know, rest in peace, Jay Gotham. We miss you. If, it, if other people would like to create tracks for the scrapyard, um, I'm, I'll be honest. I'm pretty picky. Typically, if it's hip hop, if it talks about the scrapyard, um, if it's not too repetitive, um, yeah, like it, it could make it into a video, um, but we could also do other, other types of music, metal, that kind of stuff. It just depends. Um, also, so coming up here. We got uh, the November, December, October, September events. We want to do a little bit of like giving back to the community. So like canned food drive, maybe coats for kids or something like that. 
every bit of it's going to get donated. Um, I, I just feel like we have, you know, such a big, big following and so many people that, that we can, we can use that following to, to help other people now that aren't, aren't inside of our scrapyard. You guys think that's a good idea? You know, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear you. If you haven't subscribed to Streepy Scrapyard yet, make sure you do that. Uh, make sure you subscribe to all the other branches of Street Beefs too. You got Street Beefs West Coast, Dirty South, and just Street Beefs Street Beefs, which is the OG branch. So show them all some love. Watch their videos. Um, and you know what? I did pretty good today. I, I, got, I got through. We're at 16 minutes. I only went a, I only went a minute over, so. I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, I know this wasn't a live. I'm pre-recording this one because I wanted to try to do it in a little bit higher quality. But my kicking it with chickens, um, those will probably be live. I, I do like to hear you guys' feedback when I do those. So um, that's, that's all I got for you. So Fire Chicken is out.